Hello everyone. Tonight I'd like to show you the, f the page in the heroic Polonaise of Chopin uh, uh, that is octaves. It's not easy to play, so I'm going to show you slowly. But I learned from Stephen Massacott some ideas on octaves that relate actually a lot to the Ziva King technique. And one of the points that he made was starting with feeling your sits, sits bones and where your weight is. And if you can lean forward, that that, that weight is underneath your elbows. Then when you come down in, you want to be able to feel the, the wrist can move down and it can move up over, up over for the black keys and down in for the white. And when you can, when you've got that movement in there at the same time, you can start to draw circles. And if you watch a video of Rubinstein playing that page of that Chopin Polonaise, the Grand Polonaise, uh, heroic Polonaise, it's incredible to see the circles that he that he's uh, making his hands move through, because it's he's got it all down so incredible that he can play lightly at the beginning. That page is meant to be quiet, and then build up to a huge power. So I'll just play it through slowly, and and see if you can see that that's a little bit of what I'm trying to do. Because when I'm down in the white and then up with the wrist, and then down, up. Then I got that circular motion going and the elbow moving with it, and it, the freedom takes away from you being tight, which is what you would get if you just do octaves with the wrist like that, up and down, the hand up and down. So anyway, I'll just go slowly. that you feel it, the power right from your seat and your whole body is part of it because you can lean forward then and feel these, this dipping down into the white key and then coming up with the wrist. See, down and then up, up, down, up. It takes away a lot of the tension and you can also use a lot of metronome practice and group practicing like one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, one, and stopping, that kind of thing. Then you have to be able to bring out, even when this is pianissimo on the left, you have to be able to bring out color in the right. You can't just play. Hear that? tones and the, and the color of each soprano note in the melody uh, where it's not the thumb like but bring out the, the melody on the top anyway I hope that gives you a little idea into that it's a beautiful piece when you know the piece or it's a fun piece so one day I'll go through the notes slowly on that one too, because it's it's a fun fun one to do, and and in that you've got the another little trick is if you think of a kangaroo hopping, and you think of him having saddlebags on <laughs> on, on on him for each finger that's playing and going to hop to the toward the back of the piano. The saddlebags idea allows you to feel that the center of gravity is this way or it's this, and it's centered in the middle, 
uh, like if you're playing something like um, if each finger is that kangaroo wearing this these saddlebags on either side of them then each finger when you're in the keys is able to Each finger is able to feel really balanced in the key and anchored in it, rather than sort of almost and getting out of the keys, but balanced either side of his body and then the hopping. The muscles, the tendons store the energy and then spring. And another um, idea from physics is the idea of rocking, like that's what the wrist is doing when you do these things. If you think of a pendulum sticking up there and you're going to rock over top of that and then the momentum, the stored energy and then the kinetic energy, it just gives you yump, bump, 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 bump. It gives you an ability to hop with energy and, and it's far better than being tight and pushing because that just gives an ugly tone and you need to be able to play fast with, with fluidity. and, and and you've got the elbow free to, to draw circles and you've got the, the wrist free to move up and over top of something like that when the finger comes to the black key up and over and then down into the white. All this movement keeps, keeps you from tightening when you're playing and, and as you use metronome and do rhythm sections like maybe four notes or five notes, da 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 dum da 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 dum and you do those over repeatedly, and then you do uneven practice all the different ways, then uh, it becomes strong while you stay loose. And that's the trick, stay loose. So anyway, I hope that gives you a couple of ideas in your practice. Have a good night. Bye-bye.